the Europa League final between Sevilla and Inter, the Nerazzurri, your boys. After what you saw against Shakhtar, and given the way that Sevilla struggled against Manchester United, Yassin Bonu, the Moroccan goalkeeper, Canadian-born mm -hmm. Moroccan goal goalkeeper, so impressive in that game, making six crucial saves. Do you think that Inter are the favorites going into this game? I, I'm going to put my bias aside and say absolutely yes. Because, because if you look at the results they played, the, the key for, for Inter throughout this restart here in the Europa League has been the fact that when they score first, they scored first in every game except the second leg against Ludogorets in uh, the Bulgarian club. When they score first, they're, they're unbeaten. I think they've only conceded one goal since then. So this is a team that if they get a lead early, Antonio Conte has them well prepared, well organized defensively to shut down the opposition, even though they don't get a lot of possession. Look, the last two matches, they've had about 35% possession in their last two games. So this is a team that if they get a goal early, which they have been able to do in the first half, they know how to shut it down, and then they can finish their chances on a counterattack, on a break, with Lukaku, who's been excellent, Lautaro Martinez, and Lukaku have this tremendous understanding. I saw somebody on Twitter, I think my boy Juan Arango called him Laukaku, if I, if I got that right. So those two have been excellent, but the midfield has been has been strong, the way they've been able to move the ball forward as well. So if they get a goal early on Sevilla, who are not a strong defensive team, although they've only conceded one goal in the run-up to the, the final here after the restart, they could lock down Sevilla. They don't need a lot of possession into the score, as they've shown in the last two matches, and they can get win this Europa League title. So I think they're the favorites in this matchup against Sevilla. Am I biased? Yeah, but I think watching the games gives can I can I think I have the evidence supporting my bias for them as the favorites in this in this matchup. I think you just touched on something that I I think we will we'll see in the game and that is Sevilla bossing possession and then Inter with that rampant furious counterattack, powerful counterattacking ability uh, causing some damage. One of the one of the matchups that I'm lo really looking forward to are Diego Carlos and Romelu Lukaku. Two very good players who also happen to be incredible physical specimens. Two very strong players. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Diego Carlos marking uh, Lukaku. That leaves Kunde to deal with Lautaro Martinez. But this is certainly a game that I think shows two very good collective units. But the, the, the difference maker for me on the Inter side is that they have two killers in Lautaro and Lukaku. And there are some rumors, transfer rumors, that we'll talk about uh, in a second about uh, Lukaku. What do you predict will be the score? Whew. Uh, this is going to be a good one because Sevilla is a good team. They're a good team. They're going to go. I know Lucas Ocampos hasn't scored yet in the Europa League knockout stage, but he's still very important. Uh, I, I think Inter is going to win this one 2 0. It's not, obviously, it's not going to be a 5 0. Sevilla is way you know, more talented and qualified, better team than Shakhtar Donetsk. But I think that Inter's going to get, they get that first goal. If they take that lead, they will shut down Sevilla and then get them on the counterattack. I think that Sevilla just don't have enough going forward. Luke De Jong is scoring, but I think he can easily be neutralized by Godin and them boys in the back. So I, I, I see Inter winning 2-0. It's going to be hard fight. It won't be easy. But I think Inter could get the clean sheet here, especially if they get that first goal.